called. This call may be monitored or recorded. I have a prepaid call from. Jesus Ortega. An inmate at a Colorado correctional facility. For customer assistance, billing inquiries, or to. Thank you for using Global Tail Link. Hey, Dad. Hey, what's up, son? Nothing much. Just chilling. Shit. Looked at the time and I was like, oh shit, better try to fucking call you and everything. There was a couple people waiting in line, so yeah. You're live for your recording if you want to do it. Oh shit, okay. Um, so I'm, I'm, alright, I'm live then. Anyway, for everybody out there, this is me, Gabby Dishwasher, and Sister Tega. I just want to let you all know that you all mean to me, mean a lot to me, each and every one of you, no matter if you've been here through the beginning when I started, or you're a new viewer. We're all dishwashers, no matter what. If you've ever washed dishes for a restaurant or any other type of service industry, we wash dishes at home. It's just it. We're all dishwashers. Anyway. I'm unfortunately in prison. I've been locked up since 2018. It's been about four years, but uh, a lot of things have happened. That's for sure. Maybe, no doubt, someday in the future, I'll come to terms to let you all know what put me in here. But until then, you guys are still stuck with me. <laughs> The first year, though, being in prison, I was locked in an eight, kind of a big room with eight other guys. It was fine for the first six or so months. We were just watching TV, cleaning the cell, doing usual things. But then for the second, two years after that, I got transferred to a county, a different county. And I was in a great program called the Men's Mental Health Transitional Unit. It was a great change of case, no doubt. We were given our own cell. We were given a set of headphones. And we were able to take classes about life skills, healthy relationships, anger management, and so on and so on. I was a porter, which meant I just cleaned up after everybody, cleaned cells, and got all the laundry closets and all the cleaning supplies out daily, which was cool. Lockdown was always at nine, but being a porter, I got to stay out for 30 more minutes. But throughout that whole time, all I did was trace pictures, listen to the awesome radio that I listened to, the headphones that were given to us. But, um, yeah, there was a big moment for that two-year period. I went to a state hospital in Pueblo. They needed to check out my competency for what I've done to put me into this bed. It was great. It was just like that county bit. I had my own headphones. Each day, I played pool with a number of the guys because there was a room where we could go to and play pool. There was also a ping pong table, there was a guitar, a keyboard, you know, you can do whatever you wanted to. There was a room inside that room where you could play video games. There was a small Nintendo, like a mini Nintendo set with many Nintendo games built in, as were another Sega, a mini Sega set that had multiple Sega games. I was only at the state hospital for one month because they obviously found me confident. I wasn't too crazy, but it was great there. It was like, no doubt. It was phenomenal. But they, take, they took me back. I went back to the regular county for the remainder of the two years. Now, I'm currently in an actual prison facility. So it's been about a year. I got in here last October. But mind you, if you think about prison, you think about being locked up, there's a lot of things that go around, a lot. You see stuff on TV, on movies, but I will definitely let you know right now what I thought the epitome of prison was when I got here. 
we were always being locked down for little things. Well, don't let me lie to you. They were big things. Within a good three months, five months period, we were getting constantly locked down for rapes, people getting stabbed, gang riots, and just crazy shit like that. You know, shit that you would see on TV that is the epitome of prison. And mind you, all that stuff happened in the pod that I'm currently in. But throughout the time, things have died down. Things have been chill. We haven't been locked down at all. And it's it's chill. Prison's all right. I'm not saying anybody should go to prison because, no, you don't want to be in here. Mind you, with the help of my family, with the help of my friends from high school and everywhere. They've helped me donating money to get a TV in my room, a radio for me to listen to, clothes on my back, and food for me to eat. I love it. I'm thankful for everybody, no doubt. But again, I'm thankful for my viewers, for you guys. You guys have been with me since day one. I started this YouTube channel thinking, hey, cool, I love washing dishes, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people kill it and bust their ass washing dishes as well. So I started this YouTube channel, and I was thankful that I'd get 10 views, 20 views in my first year or so in this channel. Now I'm phenomenally grateful that I can get over thousands of views, so that's something. I'm not no big YouTuber, but I'm just like you guys. I'm a human being, and I wash dishes. Without the dishwashers, any restaurant, any school, like for right now, this prison, wouldn't be capable. Of course, you have your cooks, your servers, your prep people, but without us dishwashers, that place wouldn't be possible. And mind you, the first three years that I was locked up, all I wanted to do was work into the kitchen, go to the kitchen, go work. I wasn't able to because I was in county. But I'll let you know, once I got into this prison facility, that was the first thing I did. I went to the kitchen. I got a job. And that's what I'm doing currently. I'm washing dishes. Something that I love. It gets me out of the pod. Gets me away from all the politics, you know. It, it is what it is. Like currently, on this side of the phone call, or from you guys on the other side of the screen, I'm seeing people playing cards, people playing on the PS4, people watching the TV, like me. People are talking on the phones as well. But there's also, aside from playing cards on the card table, there's also a poker table. There's so much stuff in here. It reminds me of high school, really, because you got all these different groups. Card club, poker club, PS4 club. You got, of course, there's going to be people not doing what you should be doing, like doing drugs, doing tattoos, making jailhouse hooch. But that's that's the prison, you know, life. That's the correctional facility life. They're not going to ever really stop people that much. They could try, of course, with the daily six months or however however long the shakedowns are. As that said, shakedowns is just where they come into our cells, they look for anything and whatever they want to look for to put on their little shakedown list. Sometimes we might have to get separate, uh, set, like with me and my cell, Sally, my roommate, we'd have to squat and cough, uh, strip naked, but obviously there's not going to be nothing because I'm not around all that. I don't do none of that stuff. I'm always working. I'm getting away from all that. You know, I'm not. I, I like to think that I'm not going to be a part of this correctional facility lifestyle, even though if I did my math correctly, uh, I should get out by 2027. But my mandatory release date is 2032. The date that I'm eligible to see parole is in 2029. But like I said, 
from here to there. All the good time will be rolled down, and that time is going to be literally cut in half. So 2027 is where I hope to continue and move from there. And shoot, I would say that's pretty much it. As for in the kitchen, it's a kitchen in here. Everybody, it's just the inmates. Like I said, we got the prep guys, we got the line guys that are serving the food and the actual cooks, but it wouldn't be possible without the dishwashers that are in our dish pit wise. I handle the trays, all the uh, trays that the menu items go on and the sporks and the cups. There's another side that handles all the pots and pans and yeah, I occasionally move from time to time to each side, but I'm comfortable on the tray side of the dish pit. When I first got here, though, I was needing to be on the line and serve food. And I did that for a good two months. And every day I would ask the uh, people that really work in the kitchen, where do you want me? Do you want me to be here or there? And they told me straight up, where do you feel comfortable being at? And I'm like... Put me in the dish pit. That's where I love being. I'm comfortable there. Washing dishes, getting things clean is therapeutic to me. But as for all of you guys, you guys are my viewers. Some of you guys are my subscribers, and we wash dishes. Currently, right now, I'd like to shout out to two of my viewers that have contacted me and Jay paid me from in here and donated me money. One guy, his name is Max T. Harrell. He said, you're an inspiration, man. Thank you for motivating and getting myself and many others through tough nights in the dish pit. Hang in there. He's from Canada. A guy from Canada is gonna like take his time out of his day to send me a JP, send me a letter online and just, ah. Uh, just the love. I, I, I totally adore it. And another guy, his name is Michael J. Finnegan. He said, Hello, Jesus. It's me from the United Kingdom. I hope all is well. And just thought I'll send you an email and get back in touch as a fan from the YouTube channel. He asked me to uh, write some questions and stuff like that. Um, but he said he's still a dishwasher. He's been washing dishes for six years and he moved on to another place. So like he said, like I say, all the dishes will get knocked down no matter what. You can always have in any dish pit, dishes piled all around you to where you can't even walk. But mentally guys, mentally, just know that they'll get done in time. And at the end of the day, you're the ones that conquered that dish pit and you guys made sure that that restaurant or wherever you wash dishes at has been conquered and been capable of running but for now I want to let you all know if you want to get in touch with me from in here just go to jpay.com it's the fastest way for me to get mail from everybody all you have to do is put in my inmate number one nine two two eight one and from there it should be easy you should possibly see my name Jesus Ortega maybe my picture but you can send me questions comments you can send me pictures I would love if you guys could send me pictures of your dish pit that'd be amazing because my dad the guy that's recording this video thankfully I love you dad he sent me pictures of his many dish pits that he's worked at, and just like me, he's been killing it, and we're washing dishes, just taking care of other people's messes, pretty much. I don't know how much time I do have on this phone call, because most phone calls are at least, give or take, 20 minutes, but if I could think of anything else that I've missed or haven't said there's really nothing too much um i don't know dad does it show people like commenting or anybody viewing the video currently 
Not so far. No, that's fine. Either way, shoot. People will see it, it gets uploaded, and that's all that matters, shoot. I don't mind it at all. Again, like I said, I'm totally grateful that you're taking care of, you know, my YouTube channel and my Facebook account, because once I first got here, once I first got locked up three, four years ago, I felt torn from society because I felt like I was going to be away from everybody. Of course I am, but I didn't think I would be able to contact anybody or remember my Facebook account or YouTube account again. And then whenever I do get out, I had a fear of missing out on everybody, missing out on all of you guys that have been by my side, friends, family, and I'm not going to lie, it's been tough, especially here in prison. Some days are way better than others, by far. Um, just this year, like, 2022 is going to be a year that I'm going to never forget. Uh, I hate to sound like all depressive-like, but my mother, unfortunately, passed away in the beginning of this year, and it, it sucked hearing the news, hearing that I may never see her again, I may never hear her laugh again, nor when I do get out, I will never be able to embrace her and hug her and see a smile on her face, seeing me get out of this whole situation, getting out of prison and walking out those doors. But mentally and spiritually, she's always going to be there with me. She's always going to be with my family, with my dad, no matter what. Um, and that's just going to be how time's going to have to be because all I can do is move forward, really. No matter how much times I may cry, no matter how much times I may just feel down and low, there's only one direction to go, and that's up. Even if getting up, I'm actually getting up from my knees after a long 45 minutes of crying on the floor. So it's, it's a start. Um, yeah. I can't, I can't wait for that day because I'm going to still make these YouTube videos. I'm going to still do what I love doing. Washing dishes. And that's pretty much it. I like, there's more stuff rather that I love doing than washing dishes. I love playing video games. I love skateboarding. I love listening to music. Like, pretty much stuff that anybody else likes. I love and adore going to the movies um, with all these streaming devices and streaming platforms. Like, it's kind of... I, I wonder if people are going to still be going to the movies 10 years from now. I know I will. Not a, da not a day that I'm not going to spend not going to the movies. I, 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 just, I just love going to a theater, getting some popcorn, you know, having a beer and watching a good movie. It's just, it, it, it's nostalgia, I guess. It makes me so good. But like I said, for everybody out there, um, try to contact me. I, I, would, I would love nothing more to hear one sentence, two sentences, or a picture of everybody's dish pit or something, a selfie with you guys in the dish pit. Just, you know, it, it, it just makes me feel connected with you guys beyond right now. Like, even right now, as soon as this video gets uploaded, it's going gonna, it, it, it's gonna to release something inside me. You have 60 seconds remaining. And that's the time. <laughs> but it's going to release a great great motivation for me, just like I have great motivation every day. Um, I love you, Dad. I miss you so much. Uh, before we get cut off, I'm definitely going to try to call you back tonight, but if not, I'm going to definitely call you back tomorrow, for sure. Um, for all my viewers... You have 30 seconds remaining. Don't stop washing dishes, no matter how hard it may be. Just know that 
you're going to kill it and you're the only people that makes these restaurants or facilities happen. I'm grabbing dishwasher and Jay pay me. All right. I miss and love you, son. All right. Bye, Dad. Bye, son.